What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rabbits Use Cars. I know what you're thinking. Well, what you doing sitting with this badass black Cadillac? Well, we're not talking about this. It's just background right now. We got a story for this one. You're going to have to stay tuned for that. I almost look at hating like a habit of the week. Because you can't do better than them, so naturally you're just going to talk shit. Well, that guy thinks he's got it figured out, or this guy's got that. Well, I want to tell you where this is wrong. And I want to tell you where hating can actually cost you money. What? This will take it out of your pocket. So imagine if you took the energy from hating and being that guy. I mean, I bet you those cars aren't really that nice, or I bet he ain't that good at doing this, or I bet this. And take that energy, and instead of putting it towards negativity, put it towards being positive and supportive. Well, what do you mean, Rob? Just stick with me. Talk about the chain reaction. So you got people that you work with in your daily life that are there for you no matter what. You know, that are the ones that are like, man, we got this, or hey, we can do this tomorrow, or, I'll give you a hand, or, or you got, man, that was really good, they'll go out of their way. You know, man, I watched your video and it was a good one, or hey man, I saw this car that you did this to and it looks great, or insert anything, someone telling you did a good job. boy, pat you on the back. And it doesn't hurt anybody to do that. Just that little, little boost. Man, you're killing it. And I'll give you a perfect example of this. And I'll get to the chain reaction part. Just hang with me. We just went to lunch and I bumped into a really, really dear, deep, close friend of mine. Um, I don't see him every day. Hell, I don't see him twice a year. But every time I see him, it's just like I saw him yesterday. You know, I did stand up comedy with him for years. He's been touring all over the country, you know, Denver, Vegas, LA. And Brandon was that guy. You know, you had a bad night at the club. You know what? Brandon was like, oh, dog, man, the man, crowd was off, man. Crowd was off. Them jokes were good. I'm telling you. I'm laughing. And that's all that matters. I loved it. Did you get paid? Tell him to have a coke smile. Shut the fuck up. Keep doing your thing, man. You got this. You got this. Man, we got to get out here. We need to tell some more jokes. We need to tell some more jokes. We need to do this. You know, invite you out. Man, let's go out to this other club. Let's go tell some jokes. Let's, let's go somewhere else. And he was that guy, so supportive. You couldn't have a bad night because Brandon was over there. Push, 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 push. I mean, just, man, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, just that guy, you could hear him over everybody. And I had a few people in my comedy career that were like that. You know, remember, go back to the story of Pinup Girl Saved My Life. And keep in mind, this is back in the comedy days. You could hear Leslie laughing over anybody. She was so supportive. And just like Brandon, her and Brandon both, you could hear them both just cackling, <laughs> just barely laughing because they supported me. Just like I supported him. When I was out there in the crowd, you didn't see me back in the green room when he was doing his jokes. My ass was out there in the floor laughing, clapping. You know what I'm saying? Because you're being supportive because I'm supporting my buddy. And now my buddy is touring all over the country doing stand-up comedy, doing what he loved to do. Back when we were doing it for bar tabs, he's getting paid to tell jokes at theaters and places all around the country. I bumped into him at lunch, and it was me and Matt, the camera guy, and, and we walk in, and the and, you know, first thing he goes, he goes, Rob Pitts, what are you doing? He said, I want your autograph. He said, man, I see you all over the internet. This guy right here, one of the funniest comics I've ever heard in my life, which I was not even close. But he said, I'm telling you, he said, back in the day, he said, we did this for the love. And we started talking about the comedy den. And there's that one video of me online that, 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 because all my comedy videos got took down because of Discovery Channel. You can thank them for that. And he goes, man, back at the comedy den, we had this little hole in the wall club. We didn't know what to do. And all we did was get up on stage and this guy killed it every night. He said, you think I'm funny? He said, I'm glad this guy quit so I could have a chance. And I mean, just talking you up and knowing that Brandon is a way better comic than I ever thought about being. But he's that guy, still supportive. He's like, you can't turn it off. 
early on in life, I realized that people in your life like this are probably some of the most important people you will ever come in contact with. You, you got to think about it. When you get good at something, you're going to have coattail riders from way back. And I'll be honest with you, I feel like I'm dragging half a f***ing Greenville behind me at times. But you got those people that Brandon has nothing to gain from me anymore. He's doing his thing, doing big things. But he's still an old Rob, way before I was a rabbit, corner. You know, so fast forward to what we're doing now. We got you know, some local guys that want to run their mouth. And yeah, I call them bottom feeders, and I love it. I love to poke at them all day long. It's just, just how I am. If I'm not making fun of you, odds are I don't like you. I'm that guy. I pick at everybody. The reason me and Travis Bell get along so good. And the reason me and some other YouTubers don't get along so good. But, you know, they can't take a joke. But I've got people in my life that were like my Brandon back then. Like Matt, the camera guy. What are you doing, stud? You ready to do this? You ready to film? And you don't realize how pumped up that gets you. They don't realize it. You know, first it's kind of funny or whatever. But you'll realize that if you don't hear that and you get used to it. You know what I'm saying? That that little boost, that little kick. Like back in the club days, me and Brandon. And Brandon had the the best thing for a comic ever was like if they were emceeing and they were bringing you in. Up on stage, man, we got one of the funniest comics around. You heard him on 93.7, 98.1, 98.9. You know that guy that introduced you to your girl when he got done with her? Put your hands together. I mean, he just talked you up and I mean you were just on top of the world you know and you got that intro music and you jump out on stage and you kill it because I mean that boner speech they gave you just that just I mean it just pumps you up same reason Matt does that to me you know because Matt is that guy he knows that I do the same thing for Matt you know when someone asks me about camera stuff or anything like that I tell us well you know I got Steven Spielberg of the in South working with me you need to talk to this guy because I'll be honest with you, he's one of the best camera guys around. And I'll be honest with you, he is. Do I know a lot of camera guys? Not so much. But for me, he's as good as it gets. The end. But you see where I'm getting at. You support your team. And you're, and you're like, so we're getting to the hater thing. If you go back to our early videos, matter of fact, the very first video we shot, you see a cute little blonde-headed girl with my white 69 Corvette. We shot the very first video. Well, her husband's Devin. I know you've heard me say a million times, trailer ginger, whatnot. Super cool guy. I love Devin Death. Just a good, young, he's a kid. He's 21 years old. But I want to tell you something about Devin. He has been here since day one when I was filming in the backside of the truck shop. And Devin walks up, what's up, rabbit? What's up, brother? You know, what's up? And then Devin said, hey, man, I want to get in hauling some cars. Well, then it's my job to support him. And so what do I do? I go out and say, hey, Devin, you need to get your trailer, man. I'll give you a shot. You know, let you do a couple hot shot runs for me. You know, he straps everything down good. And, you know, he gets there on time, which is unheard of for a transporter, by the way. He's calling you on the way. He's taking pictures of it loaded, coming back to you. Well, these are all things you want when you're transporting cars to and fro. Well, Devin had a full-time job. So you can keep in mind, the only time he could transport cars was on the weekends and things like that. Well, next thing you know, you know, his job was cramping down on some things. And he came into my office and he said, man, I love being on the road. I love transporting. And you can make really good money transporting. Now, if he said, you know, I love collecting Pez dispensers. No, I wouldn't be supportive of that because I don't think that's a worthwhile thing to do for a living. But he said, I love transporting. And I need a good transporter. Dev, have you ever thought about going into business for yourself? Well, man, I don't know anything about that. You know, he's sitting there in my office, you know, and here I am, got cars that need to go everywhere. And keep in mind, Devin started out with a wood floor trailer and a clapped out half ton Chevy that literally was on his last leg. I said, Devin, I said, you need to set, we need to set you up a business plan. And I said, let's try it out part time for a little bit and let's get your feet wet. Let's get some, let's get you making some good money. I'm going to use you more as much as I can. You know, whenever you're loose, you call me and I'll give you a run somewhere. So next thing you know, I had a few buddies. If I didn't have something, I would call them. Hey, I got a guy for you. Kind of give them a little clientele built up. Next thing you know, I introduced him to, to an accountant friend of mine where she could help him with his books. And next thing you know, well, I need a better truck. Man, this truck's on its last leg because we were sending him out further and further. I helped him find his first truck. Of course, he wanted to buy it. And, you know, he's a little short on that down payment. I got you, bud. And he's like, what, really? I'm like, don't worry. It's going to cost you in the long run in toes. But... 
you know what? I'm here for you, bud. I'm supportive. I'm here for you because you're doing something for me and you were always there. You know, if we needed a model or we needed some, he had her here and he was over just in the background, just smiling and supportive, wearing his rabbit's used cars t-shirt and, you know, the way he delivered cars because he worked hard. Well, that deserves to be rewarded. You deserve to look out for somebody like that. So what do you do? You know what? I helped him get that first truck. You know what? I had a really nice car trailer that I obviously was using because I pay people to transport cars. I don't tow cars. I just had it. I just tell you what, Devin, how about that car trailer? Do you like it? Yeah. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to take payments on it. That's yours. Man. Yeah, no, nice truck, nice trailer. He's been all over the country for me. And just last week, now keep in mind, this is in a year and a half that he's been out on his own. And just last week, he bought his second new truck. And now we're shopping for his second two-car hauler trailer now. Just a little support. Anybody can tell you can't make no money doing that. You don't need to leave that job, that security. You don't need to do that. You know, I could have been like that. You know, and this guy's family's not in the picture. You know, it ain't got family money. He's just playing what he's got. But I support him. And I do still to this day. Devin's my first call. If I got a hot shot run and he can make it, hey, I'm going to give it to him first because that's my guy. Because I know when I pick up that phone and I got something that needs to go now, he will stop what he's doing and go grab it for me because we have that loyalty with each other. And, and I love seeing his business grow. I, it puts joy in my heart. People coming to me like, man, who's that transporter you got? That kid's great. Yeah, that was that kid that worked, you know, that job that he hated. And I told him they could do it. Chain reaction. Well, you got to think about it. People that are supportive of the RUC went into business. Just like I'm looking at John painting a truck that you guys will see here soon. You know, he's lettering up a truck right now. You know, he's did all the painting around the warehouse and all the murals on the gas station. And, you know, every truck we've had with distressed lettering or painting. I love Keep John here. You know why? Because he supports the RUC. And, of course, you've seen his truck in Work Truck Millionaire, the video, the gold, you know, set, uh, 69 Chevrolet pickup truck. That's what's supporting your crew, just like Matt. You know, Matt's coming out here. We've had people approach us from everywhere when this channel took off. Hey, you know, we could save you money every month by editing your stuff. And our camera guys come out of the woodwork, but we'd love to work with you. Yeah, but I work with my camera guy. You know why? Because you know what? If I'm having a bad day, we ain't got to talk about fucking videos. Me and Matt are going to talk about anything. If I stub my fucking toe, Matt knows about it. And, but that's how we are. Matt calls me when he has a problem and we're there for each other. I mean, for Christ's sake, he's at my damn dad's funeral with a fucking suit on. He's that guy. You know, he's my right hand man. That's supportive. That's the chain reaction. And from that, we've got five other damn channels we're filming for now. You know why? Because I've got the damn Steven Spielberg of fucking camera guys staring at me right now. That's support. You know, Matt gets a video or he shoots up for somebody, sends it to me. I love it. It's perfect, man. You know why? Because you need that support. One of the stupidest sayings ever, but it makes so much sense. People say that motivation doesn't last. Neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. And it's the truth, though. You know, just that little burst, that, but it causes that chain reaction. You support one thing, next thing you know, you're working for that and you're making money from it. And I mean, it just explodes from there. And that's something I want to share with you guys. And, and you know, and I'm proud. I'm proud of Devin. You know, I'm proud of Matt. John's all right. No, I'm just kidding. I'm proud of John, too. I'm proud of everybody, you know, and of course, Kobe and you're know, doing the events and doing all his stuff. And and I mean, I love it. I love what has sprouted out from this and the channels that have sprouted off and the stuff you guys haven't even seen yet that's coming. It's so exciting to see it grow out and more and more people get involved and get their start or their foot in the door or or do what they're doing now and take it to the next level. I love it. And that's the beauty of it, is that chain reaction. It's that chain reaction of success. Moral of the story at the end of the day. You know, when you support things like that and you do good, and, and you know, we're joking around, we're talking about, you know, support your local economy. Yeah, supporting your local economy isn't, you know, those guys that say that, and then you mail a check off and it goes to Arizona and you live in South Carolina. That's not supporting your local economy. I'm supporting locally here right here in Greenville. All these guys are in Greenville. I don't know. I, I, I guess I, I always like working with the home team. You know, but like I said, just keep that in mind. So next time you want to, you ain't that great. You ain't that great. What the f*** are you doing? 
probably pulling for the wrong team. Guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. Can you hear that background? Can you hear it now? So, he said, he said, yo, dog, I used to tell jokes with this guy. Damn, Siri, that kind of freaked me out. But anyway, Devin was working full time here, so he was only kind of you know, on the weekends and all that stuff. And, and Devin was talking about me. Hello? Just I'm touching. Ready to, I'm ready to film five more, not. Let's do it. <laughs>